Uh, let's go on. Verse 22. For the Jews inquire a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. That's the wisdom thing again. Like, that's probably what he's getting at. Because I think Corinth was near in Greece or in that, in that area. So. so that's why he's hitting on wisdom to speak to them, I think. And the Jews, they re require a sign. And they told Jesus straight to say, show us a sign to prove who you are, you know. And who you say you are or whatever. And uh, he said, no sign shall be given you except the prophet, uh, the sign of the prophet uh, Jonas. Jonas, who was in the whale's belly for three days. So shall the Son of Man be in, in the grave, right? Three days and then come forth. And so... The Jews require a sign. They're so wrapped up, though, in... They were so wrapped up, I guess they are now, too. I don't know much about them. But wrapped up in their process of their religion, you know, that they, they're in this... They're in the moves. You know, they got to keep their moves going to maintain their position in their religion so they don't have time or attention to give to anything else. And Jesus would have caused all of them to stop doing the things they're doing, give up their life. They were they worked so many years to acquire their high positions and their ranks and their religion. And <clears throat> if they understood them, they didn't want to lose it. You know? then, then we go to verse 23. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. So he's hitting on it again. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, there's a comma there, let me read that better. But to them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. So there you go power and wisdom in you know in the first part of that verse and they're called the Jews and the Greeks so the Jews with power right sign and the Greeks with the wisdom you know that's their cultures I guess you know that he's hitting on because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men And I guess that weakness thing, you know how Jesus hung on the cross and just died. And that's considered weakness to the world. But it's strong. Stronger than men. Jesus wasn't just a man, you know. So, um, and he, he was strong enough to lay his life down and let that happen. And take upon all that that sin, and so um, we'll go to verse twenty-six. For you see your calling, brethren. He's talking to the brethren, the church at Corinth. How that not many wise men, after the flesh, not many mighty. Not many noble are called. So there's not many wise men after the flesh and noble because they have that high position. I just mentioned that earlier. They've worked their whole lives. Or well, they have so much to lose of their life to lose, you know, to gain Christ. Um, and then they probably have a lot of, you know, relations with people that uh, if they don't go along with everything they have, they have a lot of, they have a big, ugly consequences to get out of stuff, you know. Um, not many mighty, and like look at Paul, he was, he was just, um, what, God just whopped him, you know. He didn't like consider and then go get on his knees and repent. God just clobbered him, wham! <laughs> It was a good thing, you know, he woke him up. He saw the light of me and he just, bam. 
And um, that doesn't happen to many people. And then there's that verse that says, many are called, few are chosen. Well, you look that up in the Greek, and what I found is, means many are called, but few choose. You know, few choose to go after God. You know, many are called, but few choose. God has to call people. He had to call Paul. Bam, he called him real hard, real quick. You know? He didn't choose to go after Christ with all the parasitical uh, nonsense that was driving him, you know? So, um, then keep going here. God chosen. Okay, 28. The base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen. Yea, and the and things which are not, to bring to naught, that's nothing, things that are. You know, like, I mean, the, the guys Jesus called were fishermen, you know. And then they turn the world upside down, right? So, and so, verse 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Because, you know, you, you can't, someone who's, a, you know, uh, say a teacher in a university, right? To be taught in the Holy Spirit. And big things happen. People got changed and converted. He can't say, oh, I'm a good good teacher because I've been going, I went through all those years of college. It's the Holy Spirit doing it. So God can just as easily take someone who's never even been to school and fill their mouth with words that cause many to convert and be saved. <clears throat> um, so then, uh, let's keep going here. <clears throat> I'll read that again, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye called, sorry, but of him are you in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom. I'll read that again. Verse 30. But of him you are in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> who of God Christ right is of God is made unto us wisdom that reminds me of the Psalms when it's talking about wisdom there's a, not Psalms I'm sorry Proverbs there's that chapter about wisdom and it just makes me think of Jesus every time I read it and it goes on it says in righteousness and sanctification so I'm going to read that again who of God, Jesus, has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That according as it is written, that you, sorry, that, that according, I'm sorry, I'm tired today. This is the last verse, though, of the chapter. 31. That according as it is written, he that glories, let him glory in the controller. So it's his doing, you know, without him, we're just animals, you know. We're just animals without him. I mean, I'm not saying, he still loves people that don't have him, right? He died for the sins of the world, but it's that you know, with, without his spirit, we're like animals, just living and dying, you know? So, we'll wrap that up for chapter one. <clears throat>